Hi guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a, another cooking video, but I wanted to do this one a little bit differently. So instead of doing it voiceover style, like how I usually do, we're gonna be cooking in the kitchen together. I figured it would be more fun this way. And you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you like this way or the voiceover style way. So today we are going to make vegan surprise meatballs. And these are surprise meatballs because there is something in the middle of them. When I was younger, my uncle used to make surprise meatballs for us. This was before I was vegan. And he would only make like one or two in the whole batch and they would have mozzarella in the middle. So whoever got the surprise meatball was like lucky and the winner for the night because like I said, there was only one or two of them. But today all the meatballs are surprise meatballs because everyone's a winner. So with all that being said, let's get cooking. So right here I have about a cup of green lentils and I am just going to put them actually into a strainer and then give them a rinse. Now that we've rinsed them, we're just gonna cook them in water with some salt, let them boil and get soft. You can also soak these if you like, but I find rinsing them is just fine. So these are our lentils in water. I filled it up to just like a little bit more covering it. This is probably about a cup and a half of water. I'm just gonna sprinkle in a touch of salt in here and we're gonna put them on the stove so they can boil for about 20-ish minutes. While our lentils are cooking, I am going to take a can of black beans and pour these into the strainer as well, and we're gonna rinse them. It's really important to rinse your beans because not rinsing them is what will make you gassy. So rinse them off and get all like the liquid off of them and it'll make a world of difference. Our lentils are cooking away back there. Our beans are strained and rinsed. So now I'm going to cut up some onion and garlic and some fresh parsley. We're just basically waiting for the lentils to finish cooking at this point so we can move on to the other steps. So I'm just gonna take, I don't know. I don't know how much onion I wanna use. Let's cut this old part off first. I don't know, like, you may see that like this much. Next thing that we are cutting up after our onions is going to be two cloves of garlic. Also checking on my lentils while I'm doing all this because sometimes the lentils run out of water um, as they're cooking. So you might want to add in more water. So just keep an eye on your lentils. Mine have been cooking for about 15 minutes now though and they're looking pretty soft. So we're almost there. So these are our lentils cooking on the stove right now. I'm actually gonna give them a quick taste just to see where they're at in the cooking process. Yeah, they're pretty soft. I'm just gonna let the rest of the water boil out and just to aid our black beans a little bit in getting softer, we're gonna pop them in for like five minutes. Sorry, I'm choking on the lentil that I just tried. So just mix that up and I'm gonna drop the heat a little bit as well and we're gonna just let that cook for another like five minutes. If that, just to get the black beans soft, let the lentils cook a little bit more and let all the water just be cooked out. We are now ready to assemble our meatballs. So the first thing I'm doing is taking our bean lentil mixture. I'm going to put that in here. Now, before I add anything else into our bowl, I'm going to just kind of take my spoon and mash it with the back of the spoon just to help break anything down that might need to be broken down. But because everything got so, so soft, it really is basically as mushy as it's gonna get. And you don't want it to be complete mush because you want there to be some texture to the meatball, you know? You don't want it to bite into it. It just kind of like disintegrates in your mouth and there's no feeling at all. So a little bit of bean texture is. This is kind of what we're going for here. So next up, we are going to add in the cooked onions and garlic. With that, I'm going to add in some spices. So in here I have half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Next up, we are going to add in panko breadcrumbs, about like three quarters of a cup. Now, if you are gluten-free, you can either use gluten-free breadcrumbs, or if you want, you can ground up oat flour and use that instead. Finally, I'm gonna add in some vegan Parmesan this is actually from the food store and it just has the nutritional yeast and almonds and kind of like the typical stuff you would make if you made homemade vegan parmesan and i almost forgot about our parsley for a second 
you can use dried or fresh. I just feel like fresh has more flavor. So. Finally, a crack of pepper. And now we're just going to mix this up to form our meatball mixture. I don't know what to call it. So yeah, just mix it all up though. Now, in the event that you feel that your um, mixture is coming out too dry, you can add in a little bit of water or a vegan egg. I'll link the vegan egg that I like down below, or you could mix some chickpea flour with water to make a vegan egg. In the event that you feel that it's too wet, add in more breadcrumbs or more vegan Parmesan. But because the beans have a pretty good sticky texture, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. So the only other thing that I want to do before we attempt to roll these is just give it a taste. You can taste this because it's all basically cooked. So it tastes good. I'm going to add in a bit more vegan Parmesan and garlic powder and a little more onion powder. Also, because we're going to cook this in pasta sauce, the meatballs will soak in some of that flavor. So just to give you guys a test, you should be able to form it into nice little balls like this. If yours doesn't do that, then, like I said, do what I said before, if it's too wet or too dry. All right, so we are now ready to roll our meatballs. So to make our surprise meatballs, we need to put mustard in the middle. I'm using the Follow Your Heart brand. You can use Miyoko's, you can use Daya, you can use Vio Life, you can use any one you like. You can make a homemade one. This one, I like, it works well. You want all your meatballs to be about the same size. So we're gonna take about a spoonful, like this big. Use your hands. And you can first flatten it into like a patty. So I have it like a patty in my hand, and then we're gonna take a piece of the mozzarella, put it in there, and just form our ball around it. Roll it up, and you should have something that looks like this. And you can put them on a dish on the side. That's pretty much it. So now you just gotta roll out all of your beautiful little meatballs. If you feel like your cube of cheese was cut too big, just cut it smaller. But you wanna have a, definitely a big size in there because you wanna be able to like, cut into it and see that there's cheese in the middle of it, you know? Like, you don't want it to be like a wimpy little amount. Okay, so I finally finished rolling the meatballs. We got 20 beautiful vegan meatballs from this. They kind of look like cookies right now. They look really good to me so far. So, we are now going to cook these on the stove and yeah, well, let's go do that. These have been cooking for about 10 minutes. Now I tried to flip these guys and part of this could be because I probably put too many in here but it like killed me not to put them all in here. Um, they are getting crispy but I think we're actually just better off popping these in the oven because like their little bottoms are coming off but they are, well I can't see that but, so like their little bottoms are kind of getting stuck a little bit but they are getting crispy and I feel like the oven might just be the best bet. You don't have to do this in a cast iron skillet. I want it more so for the picture at the end, which is also, you know, you could just put on a baking sheet. Drizzle these a bit more with some olive oil. And I'm, this is not an oil-free recipe, so sorry. We're gonna put a nice little drizzle. You can hear it kind of crackling. And then I have the oven on down here, so I'm just gonna put them in the oven for like 15 minutes. So our meatballs have been cooking in the oven for about 25-ish minutes. This was kind of my fault and I really crowded the pan too much, but as you can see, you can like pick the meatball up by itself. The bottoms are getting a little bit crispy, so that's good. Now we are going to take some pasta sauce. I'm just actually using a store-bought one. You can use homemade, whatever you like. And we're gonna put it on our little meatballs. Sprinkle some vegan Parmesan cheese on there from Follow Your Heart. I like this one a lot. It's really good. And um, we're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 10, 15 minutes to let the meatballs soak up the sauce and get the cheese melted. And then we can eat this. 
Okay, so I actually left them in the oven for about like 25 minutes because the sauce was bubbling and the cheese was melting. So I'm about to get it out of the oven right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Also, if you cook this in cast iron like me, please be careful. This thing is super, super hot. Do not touch it without gloves right now. Finally, just finished taking all of my pictures. I've already eaten them, they're really good, but I'll give you guys a taste test. But like, oh, look at this, the surprise meatball with the cheese inside. All right guys, so let's do a taste test. Doesn't exactly look like a meatball anymore, but they taste really good and the kitchen smells phenomenal. So, now what I will say, these are soft, like they do not, they feel meaty, but they definitely are soft like you could tell they're definitely not a meatball you wouldn't be fooling anyone but they have a really good flavor a good texture and if you got them more crispy and more fried up i think they would be even better all right guys so that was our video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you try these out they're really good i think they'd be good for families i think they'd be good for like a family dinner or something like that i think you guys are gonna love them sorry i feel like i have like beans all in my teeth i probably don't but i'm like scared open my mouth now okay so as always the full recipe will be down below on the blog let me know if you like this style of video better or if you prefer voiceovers i won't be offended i just like to know to give you guys the best content i make new videos every wednesday and sunday so be on the lookout for that if you like my videos please subscribe hit the little bell so you get notified leave a like leave a comment it really really helps me out and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye